You gotta master this skill for 2024. That skill is confidence. It is one of the most important skill and characteristic that you need to have a solid and successful career, to make more money, to have more opportunities, and to be generally a more likable person. I like you a lot. I'm a true believer that confidence is a learned behavior. I think it can be taught and I think there are certain things that you can practice to get better at it. Think of it as training your muscles in a gym. The more you do it, the stronger you get. And you might be wondering, there are some people who are naturals. That's the case for pretty much any skill in the world. You have natural talent in football. You have natural talent in basketball. Just because somebody is naturally born to be better in one area does not mean that you can't do it. And I'm gonna walk you through the step by step step process on how to achieve this. First, let's look at the benefits of being confident. When you're explaining some information to someone or providing advice to someone that's trying to get to where you are, having confidence creates that authority. It paints a picture that you know your shit. It lets them know that everything you're giving is solid. Solid. Even if you might be giving them bogus advice, look at some of the best con artists in the world. The reason they got away with it, the reason they managed to con millions of people at scale was because they acted confident. Nobody questioned anything that they said. I'd like to cash this check here and then I'd like to take you out for a steak dinner. <laughs> Sam Bankman Freed, the dude's a bit of a nerd and a nutcase, but he is very charismatic and very good at talking. He's very good at getting people excited and playing that confident nerd character. And that made him billions. Now I'm not saying you should go out and become a con artist. Absolutely don't do that. That's illegal, first of all. Pussy. And again, I'm gonna preface it for this is not financial advice. You need to leverage confidence in an ethical manner to boost your career because it will significantly impact your career. Charismatic, confident, and has undetected gonorrhea. We're talking more money, we're talking better promotions, we're talking people trust you more. Regardless of your age, regardless of your gender, regardless of your background, people will put more weight to your word. Mark my words, Mocha Joe. And mark them well. I don't know how, and I don't know when, but I will exact vengeance. And that is really important in this day and generation because we're at a time where there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of people spitting bullshit out of their mouth. We have social media, we have tons of bias on news. Now more than ever is confidence required. Well, what you really need is some confidence. Let me give you an example. Imagine I'm in an interview and someone just asked me to explain a very technical concept. Let's use cloud technology. Someone asked me to explain cloud technologies to them. I'm gonna act like I'm unconfident right now. Oh, uh, cloud technologies is this piece of technology that ima imagine like a farm huh? where you're, you're a farmer and you need to sell apples. What? and a restaurant that makes p apple pies, like uh, the, the restaurants that sell apple pies. Yeah, imagine they need to make uh, apple pies and they need to grow their own apple. They're not gonna do that. Because that's so much money and added infrastructure they don't need. So what they can do, do is they can go to a farmer and, and buy only the amount of apples they need for the year to make enough apple pies or even the, the day and they save tons of money and tons of time because they can focus on making apple pie, what they're good at, instead of growing apples, what they're not good at. And yeah, that's the same concept with computers. As you can tell, obviously I did not sound confident, nor did I sound like I know what the fuck I was talking about. Oh yeah, right. Now I'll explain that same exact thing to you, but more confident. Okay, so picture this. You're a restaurant, you make apple pies. You're really good at making apple pies, but what you're not good at making is apples. You're not good at growing apples. You're not good at creating the infrastructure. You don't have the farmland. You don't have the necessary tools and equipment to grow apples. So what would you do? You would go to an apple farmer, pay them whatever premium cost they need to get the apples, 
but you'd only buy the set amount that you need. Obviously, you'd be paying more per apple because they're charging a premium on top of their cost to grow that apple. But it's worth it for you because you're only buying what you need and it saves you tons of times and money in the long run. The same concept applies to cloud technologies. It's basically taking your apple is your computer, your servers, your compute power, and you're leveraging other compute farmers. In this case, Amazon, Azure, Microsoft, Google. They're basically leasing you their compute resources for or a premium cost, but because you're only using what you need, you end up saving tons of time and money. Same exact concept explained in two different ways. As you can probably tell, if I explain it to you in the second way, you probably believe me more, but I, this is the same information, maybe like slight difference in wording, but again, the exact same information. One, I'm more assertive, two, I'm more confident, three, I'm speaking more clearly. I'm trying to use information that you'll understand better. And so it makes me look like a smarter person in general. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out of the way, how do you get confident? I struggle with confident for decades in, in terms of just being able to talk to people in person, in terms of being in like crowd situations or, or even talking to girls. But more importantly with YouTube, my first couple of videos, I was not confident. I could barely stare at the camera. I felt so weird talking to a camera. It felt like I had millions of people watching me, but in reality, only three or four people were watching my videos. And that gave me stage fright. What I ended up doing was I ended up doing it more and more. I ended up putting myself in situations, more social situations, putting myself in front of crowds, talking to more different types of people, diverse people, getting different opinions. And eventually I lost that internal anxiety. So it's more about repetition and it's more about environment. So if you're constantly in your room, lights are off and you're just like coding away all day, of course you're gonna be unconfident because you haven't been in situations that require you to be confident. You've always had a safety net where you can hide behind your room and forget about everything else. Versus if you constantly go to networking events or if you're constantly making YouTube videos, doing things that require you to be uncomfortable for extended periods of time, Eventually you're gonna get good at it and you're gonna get good at it actually probably five to six situations in very quickly because your body, your brain is extremely smart and adapts to these situations, especially because you're overloading your brain with anxiety. Eventually you're going to learn to uh, cope and live with that. Now I'm not a psychologist, so don't quote me on the chemistry side of things. No, I taught you a lesson. I think that confident comes down to your environment. So put yourself in more and more uncomfortable situations and repetition. So keep putting yourself in these situations as many times as you can, and eventually you'll get better at it. Once you're good at it, you can leverage confidence to make more money. Where well, that could be negotiating with your manager, that could be using different job offers to leverage a higher offer on your current role. That could even be creating a sense of authority over some certain topic and domain and people are willing to pay top dollar to get your advice because you sound and look the most confident in that area. I'm a big believer that you could do it. You just need to keep at it. Watch this video next and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.